I am going to tell about SAP Fiori interview questions and answers. Let's start. All the best. Questions number one, what is SAP Fiori? So, SAP WE5 is a client-side HTML5 rendering framework or library and SAP Fiori is a collection of and released as waves of applications that are completely based on the SAP WE5 framework. It means we can create applications using the SAP WE5 framework and SAP Fiori is the final product i.e. application. Questions number 2 difference between SAP UI5 and SAP Fiori? So, SAP Fiori is a collection of standard applications based on SAP WE5 library provided by SAP. SAP Fiori applications share some standard design guidelines and the way in which these applications are developed. Currently, more than 500 Fiori applications are available freely. Questions number 3, what is Fiori Launchpad and explain it. So, as we know there are more than 500 Fiori applications, SAP has provided a shell or single point place from where we can access all the applications. This serves as a home page for all the Fiori applications provided too. This shows tile-based UI where every UI redirects to the assigned Fiori application. This launchpad is fully customizable according to your needs like theming and all. Questions number 4. What are the steps required to configure SAP Fiori transactional apps? So, National Apps Configuration Steps Configuring SAP Web Dispatcher specifies routing rules to define which URL is forwarded to which system is done for both transactional apps and fact sheets. Only needs to be configured for fact sheets. If we just have to configure transactional apps, we can skip step 2. Questions number 5 Explain SAP NetWeaver Gateway Central Hub Deployment in SAP Fiori? So, in NetWeaver Gateway Central Hub Deployment, UI Layer and SAP NetWeaver Gateway is contained in the ABAP front-end server. The ABAP back-end server contains business logic and back-end data. Separating business logic and back-end data from the UI Layer has below advantages. The central place for theming and branding SAP Fiori apps. The routing and composition of multiple back-end systems are supported. Questions number 6 Explain SAP NetWeaver Gateway Embedded Hub Deployment in SAP Fiori? So, in Embedded Hub Deployment, minus NetWeaver Gateway is deployed on the same server as the business suite. So multiple business suite systems require Gateway to be configured multiple times. It is not recommended by SAP especially for customers with multiple backends. No additional separate NetWeaver Gateway system is required. It is usually used for sandbox purposes only. Questions number 7. What are the different configuration steps in SAP Fiori? So, configurations of SAP Fiori apps are divided into two parts, configuration of transaction apps and fact sheets, configuration of analytical apps. Before configuring anything, the complete infrastructure for SAP Fiori apps must be installed. Once that is completed, there will be activities to configure on the back-end and front-end servers. Questions number 8. What are the components of SAP HANA Extended Application Services? So, SAP HANA XS Engine contains two components HANA Live App Content and Smart Business Components with KPI Modeler. Within HANA Live App Content VDM Reuse Content exist. Questions number 9. How can you get the web browser of the client on which SAP Fiori application is running? So, SAP WE5 library provides a special API SAP.UI device which can be used for device and its feature detection. This API provides flags like Chrome, Firefox, Mozilla, Edge, etc. in SAP.UI device.browser API which returns Boolean values. Questions number 10. What is the use of the OData protocol? So, OData is a protocol used to exchange data on the web and was originally developed by Microsoft. It is based on Atom Publishing and Atom Syndication Standards, which in turn, are based on XML and HTTPS, S. OData defines four simple types, complex types, 
association as well as navigation path between entries. Custom behavior. Questions number 11, what are the components that are configured in SAP front end server? So, configure the ABAP front end server includes configure SAP NetWeaver gateway, configure the central UI add-on, configure SAP Fiori launchpad. Questions number 12, what are Fiori design principles? So, there are five design principles we need to keep in mind while designing SAP Fiori applications. Role-based. Delightful. Simple. Responsive. Coherent. Questions number 13, how does data flow happen in SAP Fiori Launchpad? Explain the steps. So. The sequence of steps. LPD underscore cust. Launchpad designer, add a catalog, add a group. Target mapping, semantic object, action. Static slash dynamic launcher. PFCG, catalog, group. Questions number 14, what is the use of defining workflow scenarios in the workflow engine? So. Workflow scenario aggregates one or more workflow tasks in a workflow engine and is represented by a single entry in the consumer application. The service slash IWPGW slash task processing is provided in the standard. Questions number 15, what are the different OData services that are required for SAP Fiori Launchpad? So, OData services have to be enabled in SAP NetWeaver Gateway to establish a mapping between the technical OData name and the corresponding backend service. In order to set up SAP Fiori Launchpad and Launchpad Designer, we have to activate five specific OData services. Slash UI2 slash page underscore builder underscore conf. Slash UI2 slash page underscore builder underscore purse. Slash UI2 slash page underscore builder underscore cust. Slash UI2 slash interop. Slash UI2 slash transport. Questions number 16. What are the different options in SAP Fiori Launchpad design? So. The different options in SAP Fiori Launchpad are. Configuration layer minus contains all content as delivered to customers, including translation. Customization layer minus customers adjust content for all users in the system. We can use the CUST layer for testing or other reasons. Content is transportable through customizing requests by customers. After customization, content is decoupled from the configuration layer and no automatic synchronization after changes to the delivered layer. Questions number 17, what is the use of PFCG role SAP underscore UI2 underscore user underscore 700? So, the launchpad user must have the PFCG role SAP underscore UI2 underscore user underscore 700 assigned. With this role, the user can run the SAP Fiori launchpad on the personalization level and has the authorization to execute the following OData services. Slash UI2 slash page underscore builder underscore purse. Slash UI2 slash interop. Slash UI2 slash launchpad. Thanks for watching. We are here to boost your career.